those that know me pretty well know that music for me is probably the way I connect most to um, emotion and how I like to express myself. I love going to concerts and I love just driving around, listening to music. Usually how I'm feeling on any day, I'll choose like very specific music. If I'm feeling sad, maybe I'll listen to more sad music to kind of express that. Or if I'm angry, sometimes I'll listen to more rock or hip hop or I don't know. It just depends on the day. And the other day while I was driving, I was thinking of the idea of hope and just how things are going um, and how the new year is coming. And for many of us, that's going to be kind of a sign of hope that things are going to start changing in many ways. Um, you know, and it's not going to change uh, completely, but I think we all collectively feel like things are changing and things are getting better. You know, this vaccine's coming out. Um, so there's that kind of like a sense of hope, I think, among people. So in that spirit, I want to share five songs that in my life have inspired hope in some way. These are all special songs for me, so hopefully um, you guys can also get a sense of hope out of them also. So we'll start out with number five, which is... Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun by the Beatles. Um, I don't think there's much to say about this song that hasn't already been said. I think it's one of those songs, it's out of their whole catalog. I think it's one of those songs that inspire the most like peace and calm and almost joy. It's a, in many ways, it's a perfect song. And um, I think, you know, for most people, it's a classic. And every time I've ever played it, it's always inspired just like hope for me. The number four song is a little bit more eclectic, but I still love it. We cut the legs off of our pants, we wash shoes into the ocean, lay back and wave through the day. It is Daylight by Matt and Kim. It was a song that was more popular when I was like in college when it came out. First, the feeling of the song is just a feeling of just like release and just being happy and just doing your own thing and just expressing yourself. And I just really like it. It's just such a poppy tune and you cannot not be happy like listening to this song. And even going in the background of the song, I have, what I was reading is uh, Man Kim. They made it um, kind of expressing when they were on tour and just how they want to be home. So for them, um, this uh, song had a sense of kind of like uh, being home or going home. When I took a road trip to a wedding um, years ago, uh, we played this song so many times and it became kind of like a joke. And we would be just singing out loud this song so much. And it, it just brings back a lot of happy memories for me. The next song is also a very personal song for me. It's This Too Shall Pass by OK Go. Um, you probably know them from um, their elaborate like music videos. Um, and this one also, this music video is awesome. If you haven't seen it, I would also definitely watch it. But the song itself is also extremely um, hopeful and just um, helped me in many ways. When I was in college, there was a point where I was um, taking classes. I had an internship and I was working. So I just felt so overwhelmed sometimes. Um, and I was away from like family. I was just kind of on my own. And I remember feeling so overwhelmed. And then um, I found this song. And the chorus of this song just like really resonated with me. Um, which is, let it go, this too shall pass. It's a very old phrase um, that's been in many cultures, this too shall pass. And for me, it's become a definitely a phrase that I tend to uh, rely on sometimes and remember um, when things are hard. Like, you know, no matter how hard things are, time does heal things and time changes things. And I feel that's been pretty relevant even now, you know. Things are very different now, but things are changing again. Things are changing in the next couple of weeks. Things will be changing the next couple of months. You know, things will change by the next year. 
So it, it does give me hope. It's a wonderful song, and I hope you also get to enjoy it and get something from out of that. The next song is also another favorite of mine, and when I discovered it, I didn't know about this artist. And then once I did find this song, I love her. Like, I love her so much. It's I've Got Life by Nina Simone. Um... I love Nina Simone. I I love all her music. She's such a great artist. Um, definitely a legendary artist. Um, this song in particular, especially this um, live version, um, and I can share the link in the description, um, is such a good um, version. Um, and the, just this song in general is so good. It starts out pretty pessimistic. It's saying how she's lost her friends, how she's lost her uh, community, how she's lost like her freedoms, how she's lost, um, um, her job, her money, her house. She's just lost everything. She's in destitute. Um, and that's how we feel sometimes. I feel, um, it, we, we feel like we've lost everything. I think for humans, it's easy for us to victimize ourselves, um, sometimes to an extreme. But those are, you know, valid feelings, you know. Um, um, sometimes we do feel like we're all alone, even when we're not. But then the song changes. About a minute or two in, um, she starts saying what she does have. And she goes off and listing off how she has her eyes, she has her back, she has her nose, she has her soul, and most importantly, she has her smile. Um, you know, that's those are things you can control. Those are things you have autonomy over. And it's such a powerful message. And um, it definitely resonates with me a lot. And, you know, like I can start thinking about what I do have, even when it seems like everything's been taken away. It's a beautiful song. I really recommend you listen to it. And there's a remix also if you look it up on YouTube or Spotify. It's just a remix. It's a more poppy version. But I would watch this video um, if you have some time. So the last song that inspires like hope in me it's float on by modest mouse um i've always been a big fan a huge fan of modest mouse they're kind of eccentric but they're also like talk talk about very like deep subjects and they get pretty dark sometimes they talk about you know a lot of times they talk about the negativity in humanity and just like um the bad things that you know we go through but float on is actually a very like positive song even though it doesn't sound like it uh sometimes it's actually like their most like hopeful like song it's and uh, you know it's also like their biggest single probably but what i love is like in throughout the song um they're talking about how all these bad things are happening to them you know they crash their car they get scammed you know all these things but the thing is there's always like a silver lining there's always a silver lining um to the situation and I think it's a, also a powerful way um, to kind of reframe our experiences. You know, we could look back to the last, you know, eight months of this pandemic and we can say, you know, all the things that we lost, you know, we lost, you know, time with friends, time with family, you know, activities in the summer, um, you know, events, all these things, Um but what did we gain, you know? In what ways did this help us like reflect on our experiences or help us grow? Um, I think it's really good to take that time to think about those things um, because I think um, it's easy to just um, frame um, our experiences as just as a negative experience. Um, and it's hard it's hard to live like that when you're just framing all your past experiences as just negative experiences um it's a lot to carry 
And um, like I said, um, you know, your those feelings are valid, but I I don't think it's healthy to um, hold on to so much negativity. And I I think it's important for us to look back and reflect on how these things were a force of good um, in our lives, even when sometimes it wasn't. But um, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to also say, you know. It was also a really crappy year. But I hope you enjoy these songs. And they're really important songs to me. And I hope they um, inspire hope for you. And I look forward to better things in the next year. Um, if you have any songs that inspire hope in you, feel free to share them and comment them. I would love to hear them. Um, and I hope you guys have a good new year. And I hope you guys stay safe. See y'all.